A Cousin Ships Football Club deserve to be banned by FIFA. You see, this FIFA banning that is imposed to Kaiser Chiefs currently, as of now, 2023, they deserve it. They don't learn the lessons. So since they don't learn their lessons, why should people always sympathize with them? Why should they always be victims? Why should people always side with Kaiser Chiefs? It is about time that even Kaiser Chiefs fans, they abandon Kaiser Chiefs in terms of situations like this. They need to learn the lessons. They need to learn to use money and pay necessary people. They cannot be always the victims in all situations. That I refuse, I refuse to accept. And FIFA has imposed another ban on Kaiser Chiefs. But at least with this one, they've got a condition they can maneuver around this. But we are to unpack this, provided that you are interested. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, guys, there's only one favor that I'm asking, and that is you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Having said that, there's another FIFA ban that is seemingly being imposed to Ikaza Chiefs Football Club. I know you want to know what happened and blah, 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 blah. Now let me give you a context. The context is that uh, Ikaza Chiefs Hadeba, who is now based in United States of America, USA, joined the Soweto Giant in 2017 with a clause in his contract stating uh, stating that he, uh, that his former club, Chicken Inn, will reap financial reward when he is sold to another club. As a result, in 2015, Zimbabwean champions filed a complaint to FIFA when they did not benefit from their players' transfer to Yan uh, Watwat in 2019. What the FIFA tribunal said, initially the indications are that Hadeb joined the Turkey, uh, Turk club as a free agent. However, it was underneath that the um, local Atazwana coached side handed sold him uh, a bet for an undisclosed fee. And FIFA player statute chamber ruled that Chips must pay the Zimbabwean club. Now, remember that uh, the, the rule is saying Okay, in all situations now, um, TTM, Solos FC, uh, Chippa United, South Africa, they've all received FIFA pen, even Celtics. They've all received FIFA pen, and you, are, you must know that most of the time, FIFA pens always emanate around finance. Failing to pay players, failing to pay or to honor your contract, it sometimes results in FIFA banning you. So it's not a surprise that if you don't honor the contractual agreement with you, 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 the people you dealt with before, then you must face the consequences to look into that. And the consequences all most of the time is you look, it's fine or ban. Now that's why again we're saying Kaza Chips will face another ban. Now I know you want to know, good, okay, so how the ban comes in here? How is it that they're going to be banned because according to what you have heard here is that Kaza Chips needs to pay this? Let me give you the context a little bit, right? Um, in a statement, again, but the claim and the claimant, Chicken in FC is partially accepted. Uh, IFA Tribunal Chief Legal and Compliance Officer Amilo Solo said in a letter. The respondent Kaza Chiefs Football Club has to pay to the local uh, to the claimant the following amount of um, uh, thirteen thousand six hundred and fifty four point eleven US dollars, which is two hundred and thirty four thousand rand six hundred and twenty five and ninety five cent as an outstanding remuneration plus five percent interest per annum as of to look July 7, 2021 until the date of effective payment. And that is to add 7,000 Rand, 724 Rand and 64 cent, which is now 132,736.66 cent as an outstanding remuneration plus 5% interest. Uh, Annam as from uh, 16 local um, as of uh, 16 January 2022 until the date of it effective payment. Full payment, including all applicable interest, shall be made into the bank account indicated in the uh, look in an enclo uh, enclosed bank account registration form. So, right now, let, let's continue. You see, guys, that's why I'm saying they need to learn their lesson. They did not honor their contractual obligation, but they cannot be victims after that. They need to learn to own arguments. Kazakhstan Football Club must learn that. You fans must 
Stop treating them like victims in all situations. No, that needs to come to an end and it must end now. A statement continued to say again, the respondent shall be banned from... Re now, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky, guys. I mean, I told you, Ugo team, um, there's FIFA ban. Now, I told you about the fine and the amounts. I broke them down and blah, blah, blah. You know, remember what I'm saying? Now, if FIFA said the following in a statement, the respondent shall be banned from si registering, registering any new players, either nationally or internationally, up until the due amount is paid. I wanna get Apple. It's tough. But Robert, you will be banned up until. Eesh. Agu tough. Ebona gelap. Agu rough. Then they continue. The maximum duration of the ban shall be uh, shall be up to three entire consecutive registration period. The matter shall be submitted upon request to the FIFA Disciplinary Committee in an event that full payment, including local application interest, is still not made by the end of three entire and look by the end of three entire and consecutive registration period. Uh, the consequences shall only be enforced at the look at the request of the claimant in uh, look in accordance with the Article 24, Paragraph 7, 8, and Article 25 of uh, uh, Regulation state, look, uh, Status and Transfer uh, Players. The final cost of the proceeding, uh, the amount of uh, 5,000 US dollars, which is 85,905 franc point 10 cent, are uh, to be paid by the respondent to FIFA. Hey, because she's FIFA will will look will reimburse to the claimant chicken in the look uh, the advanced cost paid at the start of the present proceed look uh, present proceeding. Agashubile guys, ushubile, shubile, 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 shubile. It is shubildi, it is shubildi. Zabuya and nature na baba zabuya bantu meleba batale abanya abantu and that's it. If you don't pay. You are facing three consecutive ban. That will mean you see now it's January, and then the transfer window opens twice in a year, right? So you have what we call it January transfer window. Usually, it's from the first of January to the thirty-first of January of each and every year, right? So in 2023, first of January to. 31st of January 2023, 2024, they usually follows the same thing unless they do amendment there and there. After that, you have the, the longest one, which is the one Yango June. It usually open on the 1st of June. I think it closes on the 31st of July. So I think that's what they give you two months of a transfer window. If not, sometimes they've extended, extended it to August. So let's, let me show you something here. So if they're saying they're going to be banned, for that period, what they are trying to say is that you're not gonna sign players for two transfer windows in one year, and then they will add the next year in January. So if it's 2023, an example is that on January you're not gonna sign players, June you're not gonna sign players, 2024, January you're not gonna sign players, you will only be allowed to sign players in July. Oh, in, in, in the in, in, in the transfer window that will follow them. It has achieved, guys. They've been get, managing to get themselves into financial challenges and they've always try find themselves against, look, on the other side of the law. And it cannot be that they are not guilty in all of this situation. Number two, my suggestion is that the, the person that is busy authorizing these deals needs to be changed. Clearly, there are people that are not doing their job the way they need to do it. If you guys are to protest to those people who look, organized the protest last time when they were protesting to Ikaza Chief, one thing that you need to mention in your look that I'm thinking I think you need to submit is that the person that has been involved in these doughty dealings, remember that they were also look, they were banned. Do you remember that one? The person that has been involved in all of that needs to get sucked, needs to get fired. It doesn't matter who is it, uh, whether it's Mudong's, one of Mudong's family, that person needs to get fired. That's it. Because 
It cannot be that you are running a big institution like Kazashif and you are managing to get itself to get the institution into disrepute by doing dodgy dealings that at the end of the day, the law always finds you guilty. No, the person that is involved here must get uh, look what is due to, to the person and that is the organization needs to not not suspend the person the, 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 the organization being Kaza Chiefs Football Club needs to set an example by doing away with such people in the organization and that is what I'm advocating for because there's consistency in how they are managing to get the organization into this into dispute you know what I'm saying into disrepute the, 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 the reputation of the organization has been brought into disrepute because of such people. Therefore, fire them. Then you have solved the problem. And it does not matter who did it. But, hey, I'll see you in the next video. But until then, please take care.